Even after nearly three decades, some people still ask, what does the Black United Fund of Illinois do? We provide funding, technical assistance and support services to nonprofit agencies and programs that help them grow and become self-sufficient. These agencies and programs are in the African American community and help our people and their families. Since 1986, we've assisted nearly 500 organizations. We also create programs that provide training and offer skills that make African Americans job ready. We even have programs that deal with behavioral modifications, so when our young people get a job, they know how to keep it. And our job retention rate is over 90%. Our annual programs budget is nearly $4 million, and over 95% of that is actually spent on programs in the black community. So now you know. In 1985, the Black United Fund of Illinois became the 16th independent affiliate of the National Black United Fund. The challenge to organize the Illinois affiliate was accepted by Henry L. English, who is the current president and CEO. It wasn't an easy mission, but English was accustomed to difficult assignments. He joined the United States Marine Corps right out of high school and served in the Corps for five and a half years. He was also a hospital administrator and knew what it took to raise money for the human cause. He had to get the organization certified to receive payroll deductions from Illinois state and private industry employees, an accomplishment only three other nonprofit organizations in the state had achieved. English, along with Dr. Alice Palmer, her husband Buzz, and a handful of committed, dedicated Chicago visionaries, began talking to employees of Bell Laboratory and the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, AFSCME, and soon had secured the 4,000 payroll deduction participants necessary to receive certification. The Black United Fund of Illinois Incorporated was born. We saw ourselves as a self-help self-investment type of organization, our primary focus uh, from the inception was payroll deduction in the workplace. Uh, we actually asked me, to, would they help me? said, okay, we'll support you and we'll sign a person, uh, which have to be Rose Daly. So, Henry and I spent a lot of time on the road from Chicago to Springfield signing up people to get the signatures we needed to get payroll deduction. And that was kind of rough, but it was, it was fun too because I got to see a lot of people I didn't get to see every day. We believe there was a lot of people uh, out there who wanted to give to the fund if they were given the opportunity. The strength lies in our board and the mix on our board. They are individuals who are fairly active in the community. They know a lot about the community. They know who's doing what, how we can uh, leverage the few dollars we have through our grant process. My motivation at that time was to make sure that we had a, an adequate funding mechanism that would help small uh, businesses in the community, uh, not-for-profits, and people who were in need of help. Uh, we were in a position at that time uh, of trying to make sure that uh, young people were served uh, and getting off the street, so we funded organizations that served young people. In fact, that is, to me, the most uh, important function that the Black United Fund uh, performs. Researching and understanding the true needs of the community was the first order of business for Buffy, an acronym that became the organization's trade name, most recently known as simply the Fund. We have a pretty good track record and ident not only identifying organizations that affect the quality of life in the communities, but, uh, but helping those organizations to be self-sustaining. In 2001, Buffy introduced the Torch Award, a special award presented to selected individuals in the Chicago African American community who have provided mentorship to individuals in business or within the community. Buffy has recognized nearly 100 individuals and their heirs at the annual Living Legends Passing the Torch Award Show. 
Buffy recognizes the current needs of the African American and is consistently innovating their service delivery systems to meet those ever-changing needs. The fund is designing a comprehensive strategy to restructure the African American community in Chicago and is developing a prolific plan to prepare the next generation for success in America. The greatest challenge is right now is the generations of individuals who have not been ever been really employed. You know, we, we go on the second, third generation of, of, of families who not really had a stable job or a job at all. And, that, and now we're seeing the results of that. That forces us to look at a couple of things. On the economic side, job creation, job training. On a long-term basis, we, we, we need to begin to rethink how we educate kids. Because what we're doing right now is not very effective. The dropout rate among males is 48%. I mean, that, that's not acceptable. If I was, if, if I was Ford Motor Company and 45, 48% of my cars were defected, I would be out of business. It requires mobilization of all stakeholders, from the schools, the churches, the businesses, the whole gamut. We collect a lot of data, so we do a lot of research. We think that if we're able to create a successful model, because the community we operate in is no different than African American communities all across the state, that this could have a profound effect on, on, on changing and improving the quality of life of all of us. The capacity that we build in the organization to have the types of professional staff and individuals who are not only personally dedicated, but have the kind of professional acumen and the technical expertise to provide the level of services necessary for an organization this size and for the communities that we serve that have grown over the years. So as the needs have increased over the years, we've also as an organization stepped up to the plate by bringing in the kinds of talent and professional people that we need to keep pace with those needs. Continued financial support of the fund through payroll deductions and philanthropic contributions is essential to assure the fund can continue to develop and initiate its plans to push the community forward. The Black United Fund of Illinois Incorporated, helping people help themselves.